Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow to see this sleepy pup. Today is an exciting day. Why? Because <laughs> we're going to register. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> and Sarah's being very graphic design-y in choosing what photos to put up here. See this right here? You can't just look at that and go, oh, I think that photo would look good there. You truly can't. So I'm going to lay it out here make sure it looks good. So Sarah graphic designed the frame. And graphic the designed? I just drew it out. Where the shelves are and the frames are. But you added like the actual... I know because some pictures are going to use the matting and some aren't. So she's like pulling in the downloaded photos that we're thinking. And she's going to place them here to make sure they fit right and look good. That'll be good, super easy. Then we can just order them to be printed and then it'll be super easy just to pop them in. Yeah. No questions. You are fancy. We got everything situated. This last picture here on the bottom. We're going to take a picture with the ultrasound because then that will be like our designated picture frame for the babe. Um, the empty ones have like our wedding invitation and the painting in it. So lots of fun. I love Eve's big picture up there. Never feel like Jean Valjean. No. Anyway. Why do you feel so worried? He took this laptop away from me so he could register for something. On well, the website won't pull up. I want to show you. Look at it. Hold on. This is American Cancer's site. Oh gosh. Ready? Right here. <laughs> oh, big stretch. I'd like to become an American Cancer Society Determination Endurance Program participant. I need a race entry and I am ready to commit to raising $150,000 for American Cancer Society. I am aware that ACS fundraising has benchmarks that will be communicated to me and if I fail to reach those benchmarks, my entry will be forfeited to the World Marathon Challenge. Eve, perfect timing for the intense moment. <laughs> there it is. Welcome to your fundraising dashboard. Thank you for joining. Oh gosh. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right. Okay. Time to get started. Two huge pieces to what we just signed up for. One, got to fundraise $150,000. Can we do it? Two, I have to run 183 miles in 168 hours. Seven miles, seven marathons, seven days. So I gotta go run, I gotta train. Train it up some. You're gonna go to all seven continent continents. <laughs> I go to the confident continents next year. I'm gonna go to a couple. Sarah's gonna, the game plan, Sarah at a minimum is gonna come with the baby to Cape Town, South Africa, and then meet me in Miami at the finish line. But we're gonna see as time goes on and how planning goes if we feel up for, if she feels up for doing Cape Town, South Africa, meeting me there, um, and then meeting me in Dubai, because we have friends in Dubai that we can meet up with during the, well, she can meet up with that I don't know if I'd have time to, but they could come see me run there and then fly and meet me in Miami while I go do the rest of the races. But at a minimum, we're thinking we'd go to Cape Town, South Africa a few days early. It's going to be hard because of Thanksgiving, but we'll figure it out. November 30th is when it begins. Still so beautiful. Extra beautiful during the day. With all its beautiful flowers. This little fountain going on. Oh, beautiful neighborhood. I need a haircut. Still going to give it a couple of weeks for the beard, but... I need a haircut up top, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's a very surreal feeling going on a run right now after just signing up for the World Marathon Challenge. I was talking to Sarah this morning about it and how weird it is that a year and a half isn't that long 
but there's a million things that are gonna go on between now and then that I believe are, are gonna make all this fly by between getting ready for the baby, fundraising, the baby coming, the baby living. The baby will be, will have just celebrated its first birthday when we go on this adventure for me to go run the World Marathon Challenge. And all while raising $150,000 for an extremely important cause. That is, uh, it's a lot that's gonna happen in the next 18 or so months. and. I can't wait for it all. It's gonna be so much work, but worth every mile, worth every step, worth every sweat, worth every late night, worth every rejection email, and especially worth every acceptance and donation we get. I gotta get back to running. That's a whole other half of this I have to do. So I decided to put on like a matching pajama set just so that I felt a little more put together. Um, tidied up, made the bed, um, and is getting dinner started now um, so that when Peter gets back, we, he can shower and stuff and I can finish up and then we'll just be able to eat right away. But I am making, I feel like this is like something that's become so go-to for us, but um, some burritos, but instead it's going to be onions and zucchini and then refried black beans some of the kicking queso that we got um, from Publix, rice, maybe a fruit salad. Um, so it's easy for me to cook these elements when I'm not feeling so good, um, but I like to spunk it up even though it's like at the core, it's just a burrito. <laughs> Look at his hair. How'd it go? It was real humid. Windy? Real humid, real. Real windy. Is it gonna rain? We need it's the supposed rain. to tonight, even if it just for like, I think it's not gonna be like a rain. It might be like the newsman's in like five or ten minutes. But it's better than nothing, it's so dry here. Yeah, our power went out, so I had to turn on a DVD because I couldn't get the internet to work. I didn't do a good job updating throughout. Look at this heaven sent thing that Sarah just made. It's the kicking queso, some refried beans in Valentina, and then the zucchini onion concoction. Delicious. You can see the onions and zucchini over there. Here's the, the concoction. Great job, Sarah. Thanks, Pete. She just took her first bite. They're really good. How is it? So good. She's making mine. She's eating hers fresh while we're finishing mine. So I would say, like, put it flat on a tortilla, any of your toppings. I saw somebody do this with, like, cheese and ham. Oh, gosh. Um, on Instagram. Make it as light as possible so you can slide it over and cut it in half. It's really good. And then I just chopped up fruits. all the fruits we have. Well, not all of them, but like all the varieties for a little fruit salad. And then we got rice. Oh! Oh! We could not vlog another second of that because that was a top five best dinner series ever made. It was so good. Even Sarah was like, this is how I like my tortillas because she doesn't like tortillas. I but like corn tortillas. Yes. We ate the delicious food, and I don't even feel bad because like it was all pretty lighthearted and lighthearted. <laughs> it was all light, <laughs> and not like greasy or heavy. And there was a fruit salad, and uh, we have lots of leftovers for tomorrow. Each choking on a cold glass of water, <laughs> cleaned up, and we did our shot, your mm -hmm. shot, and now Tires. we're gonna we're gonna watch um, wonderful Happy Mrs. Mara Maisley Paisley Miss Maisel, no, Maisel, whatever that show is. We started it. Twice now. Yeah. So once gonna, at our old apartment and once here. here. So we're going to pick up where we left off here. Yes. And going to chill. I haven't decided if I'm going to be working on my phone on ACS stuff or you if I'm going to. You should roll. I brought the stick out to roll because I haven't rolled okay. the past few days. So we'll do that. And then we're just going to chill. I had, We came up with a bunch of ideas already for ACS. We yeah. already had our first donation. Thank you to my sister in law, Kim, getting us started off strong. Um, the links now down below will always be that ACS fundraiser. And guys, let me know if you have any ideas for us to fundraise or if you have any companies that do if philanthropic. You company, if you own a company. And you want your donation for the year, it'll be, what is it called? Tax deductible? It's a tax deductible donation through a 5013C, 5013C organization. Um, you can reach out to us via email, tbp32830 at gmail.com gmail. we'll put that down below as well yeah um yeah, this but yeah, is just the beginning just the beginning 
think I'm gonna adopt some of my old habits. By old habits, I mean my old man habits. It's 8.40, we're watching Marvelous Miss Mabalu. I'm gonna make a cup of joe to indulge and just rest and relax with my best friend and my best pup. Look at that, fresh joe going in my cup. There you go. I'm ready to relax. All right, so we're actually doing good. We watched three episodes, I think? I think so. We're gonna watch one more before we go to bed. Um, but good night. Funny show. Not the most appropriate for all ages, but It's such really. a beautiful show. Yeah, I it love all the outfits. The city. And jackets. Yeah. She goes so many times, I wish, I miss wearing jackets. I do miss wearing jackets. It's raining. It's raining. For anybody who lives oh. in Central Florida, it is raining. It has been such a dry season. I only think it's gonna rain for a little bit, but it's so nice to see the rain. Two nights in a row, I go to Peter, is that Jane Lynch? And it sure is. And Julia and Julia, Anne and Mrs. Maisel. This is where Eve found herself comfy tonight. Our very last day of March. We can always choose to perceive things differently. We can focus on what's wrong in our life or we can focus on what's right. Marion Williamson. I think about how difficult it's going to be to pick up Eve without rustling her too much. Mm -hmm. But we can't let her wake up in the middle of the night and be all alone out here. No. Success? No, I disturbed her too much. I moved a chair and it really scared her. We love the marvelous Miss Ma Mrs. Maisel. Yeah. Um, I know tomorrow's going to be a busy, 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 busy day for me. Yes. For work because it's the first of the month. Right. Reminder to not play April Fool's jokes about pregnancy or yes. anything. Um, I don't know. About COVID, about pregnancy, right. about job Coming loss, out, about, about job, coming out. yeah. Anything like that. Anything like that. So those aren't jokes. No. Keep it funny. Lighthearted. Yes. Also, remember if you donate blood, I know a couple of you have made appointments. That's a really great way. We obviously want you to be safe and to go about giving blood in a safe manner, the same way you go to the grocery store, the same way you go get gas. Um, but you can get an appointment and be even safer. Get in and get out. And then you can send us your address and we'll send you a note and some stickers in the mail. We'll, we'll paint Eve's paw print on there. <laughs> She'll sign it herself. Oh gosh. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.